All right, Coach, no pressure. This is our final episode. You get the final word. So wrap up the Dragon way, especially as it pertained to this game. Yeah, I think I think this game, you know, I think about not just our whole team, but the seniors and what they had been through in their careers. And I think about, you know, the season before was a, a disappointing season for the expectations we had. And the off season was hard and it was a grind. And we, we pushed our guys and we challenged them. And, and you know, they went to a different level, um, not just physically, but mentally. They went to a different level relationship wise, where they truly, I think, looked in the, around the room at spring ball and said, wow, you know, how are we going to win a game? We, we don't look very talented in here. We don't have very much talent. We're going to have to rely on being gritty. You know, we're going to have to rely on, you know, chemistry that somehow you add to an equation and, you know, one plus one equals three. And I think the bonds that these guys had and they formed through that spring, through that summer, through the fall, um, you know, is the only way that you can explain how they were able to overachieve at such a high level. And so, you know, I don't think you want any, you wouldn't want anything more, whether it's out of a football team, whether it's out of a person in life to overachieve, to be beyond what their potential is and not just for themselves, but for each other. And I think that's, you know, when you talk about the Dragon Way and being a great teammate, yeah, it was there. When you talk about finding a way, yeah, it was there. You know, if you talk about keep getting better, yeah, they had to, that team had to just to, to find a way to win. And then you talk about a bunch of just great guys that do what's right. Yeah, that's, you know, those are guys that you love being around. You know, you saw a lot of those pictures. My kids were in those videos. I love my kids being around our players. They were, they were such great role models, great people. Uh, we talked about it at the beginning. You know, they were in the in the schools before the Mineral Water Bowl. These, these are great young men um, that did great things while they're in Moorhead and they're doing great things right now. And, and you know, I couldn't be any more proud of the people that have been in the program and come out of the program and gone through it.